we are going to talk about ISBA approach in communicating information in critical settings. It is useful for us to communicate in emergency situations as well as uh, situations where we need to cl clearly transmit the message among the healthcare staff. What is ISBA? ISBA initiated or was initially devised to be used among the Navy personnel in American nuclear submarines. They needed a quick, succinct way of hand, handing down information among their staff. So it was devised and used very successfully in American nuclear submarines until it was discovered by medical professionals and they thought that it is a very nice tool to use in critical situations among the healthcare staff. So it is a very good way of communicating clinical situations from nurse to clinician, clinician among, to another clinician or student, medical student or medical uh, nurse student to senior nurse or senior medical officer or just about anybody. It is a very precise way of communicating information. What do we mean by ESPA? ESPA stands for Situation, Background, Assessment and Recommendation. Situation is what we need to deliver within first 5 to 10 seconds of our transmission of message. The background is describing how we have got there or what happened to the patient or the situation. Assessment is your own assessment or whatever lab test which you have done. And recommendation is what do we need to do or what do you want the listener or the recipient of the message to do. We'll talk about a small example. This is a case of a 30-year-old woman who has delivered her second child vaginally about 30 minutes ago. She is in the labor room and her observations are being plotted on the modified early obstetric warning system chart or the MIOS chart. In this MIOS chart, you can see that the observations have been recorded for the last 30 seconds. The patient was initially in the first 15 and 30, uh, 0 and 15 seconds minutes it was she was alert and then she became restless and drowsy by 30th minute. Her temperature had been normal and her respiratory rate gradually increased. Initially it was in the green zone in the first instance and then by 15 minutes it was around the yellow zone 20 to 30 and then about 30 at the 30 minutes. Pulse rate also gradually creeped up. You can see that by 30 minutes it's in the yellow or orange zone. Her systolic blood pressure initially was around normal range and gradually deteriorated and now in the orange zone. Diastolic blood pressure again, same story. Urine output you can see it has reduced. Bleeding was noted from about 15 minutes and onwards and it is persisting. Urine output is dropping. by half an hour, fundal level is rising over the last 15 minutes, from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. So you can see, as advised in the early warning score system, when you have single orange or two yellows, you need to inform your seniors or other colleagues 
about the patient. So we need to transmit the information about this patient to our colleagues. So how do we do? Or what can you do now? Your patient is deteriorating. You need to tell your doctor or the senior house officer, registrar or someone else or even the consultant. You need to use the SBA sheet. When you are conversant and well rehearsed, you don't need these prompt sheets. But at least initially you need to use uh, prompt sheets to transmit or gather your thinking. So S is the situation. So we need to tell about our patient. Para 2 delivered vaginally half an hour before. Was completely normal in antenatal history. The baby's weight is 2.5 kilos. No complications, no instrumentations. At the time of delivery, placenta was delivered and completely normal. So that is the background. If you go back to the situation, you need to tell the patient is deteriorating with vaginal bleeding, with the fundals rising over the last 15 to 30 minutes. We are given the background and we need to tell our assessment. You can tell that the respiratory rate is going up, systolic blood pressure is dropping down and diastolic blood pressure is also dropping down with the dropping urine output with the fundus increasing in size. The recommendation you can tell the listener is, can you please come and see, do I need to arrange the theatre, may I inform the, the anaesthetist, shall we take the patient to the theatre or do you want to examine her under anaesthesia or in the ward itself or in the labour room itself. You need to transmit only the relevant information like in this scenario, not unnecessary details. There's no usage of her previous pregnancy or her other health conditions if it is not really relevant. Don't try to tell all the information in this. Always before calling you need to check a few more information. Check whether you have assessed the patient yourself. There's no use of handing down second-hand information. Have you discussed it among your staff before deciding? Especially if you are a nursing officer, discuss it among your senior colleagues or other nurses before calling the doctor. What was the addition, admitting diagnosis? In case of admit, ad, immediately after admission scenario, see what the OPD doctor has written. Go through the notes and other reports of the patient. Is there anything which is significant? What was the hemoglobin like? And when you are calling, always have all the information, the BHT and other reports with you. Have your MIOS chart ready or in this scenario or any other case, all the observation charts, the medications, prescription chart, the drugs which have been administered, or the results of investigations and if the patient is receiving resuscitation you need to know what is going on and then tell the situation what is the scenario what happened where you are situated what is your level of experience who you are by name if you can identify identify how it started how severe is the problem then your background, whether the patient is alert, responding to verbal or pain or unconscious. What is the resuscitation? Airway, breathing, circulation and uh, other details. When was the delivery, if it is obstetric patient or if it is a, a surgical patient, when was the surgery, at what time, any other medications. That you need to tell in your background. Your assessment. Pulse, BP, vitals, and neurological status, A, V, P, U. All that has to be uh, discussed. And if the patient is unstable, you need to tell the patient is unstable and deteriorate. And your recommendation, can you come and see, do I have to arrange the theater? Or do you want me to contact someone else while you are coming? 
oh do you what do you want me to do next so this is in summary what you need to do so please use it to practice in all situations then you will become more conversant and then you will not need all these additional prompts for your work. happy sparring thank you